everybody i'm yvette of uniquely yvette and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time as you can see i have traced this pattern onto a quarter inch piece of plywood i've cut it out into a circle my my main interest for this piece is the colors i use on it so that's going to be my focus more than routing i just love color that's what i'm about this channel is for inspiration so if it gives you some ideas if it gets your creative juices flowing great and that's what i'm here for <laughs> so this piece i use carbon paper to get this pattern on here i did try to distort these shapes a little bit just to give the sort of impression that the bee is breaking out of the middle of this um, honeycomb let's just see where we can go i do want the bee to sit up a little bit from the background so i'll probably plane out all these areas around him like in here like that i'll plane that down so he sticks up i'm not going to go in here and put holes here his legs are going to be solid like all black here the whole entire thing black i'm not going that detailed i'm not even sure how i'm going to do these parts it might these antenna since they're so thin i don't know i might just use paint and let it be what it's going to be i don't know we're going to take this very slowly very carefully and see how each stage looks so let's just get started and see where we go from here i've gone over the lines again to try to help myself to see better when the machine is on the piece since i'm most sure about this part I've decided to shade it all in and do it first. I'm going to start out using this blade in my router. It's like a 15 or 20 degree angle on the end of the blade. And I'm just using it to outline the entire area because it makes it easier once I get this other like end milling bit. I don't know if you can see that after I do the outline and I'm going to be using this end milling bit. It makes it easier to cut out the middle parts going to the edge because that edge will just pop away because I've already outlined it. So that's my purpose to outline the ends because then you don't overthink it. I mean, you could overthink it the first time, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be lowering all of the places that I do lower. I'm going to be lower them no more than one eighth of an inch. That's three millimeters. So let's get into it. Traced out all around the whole uh, B, and now I'm going to move on to the end milling bit and mill out all these inner parts. Now I'm sorry I'm not showing more of myself doing that because unfortunately it is so hard for me to see it clearly. I really have to come in very 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 close to see what I'm doing and like I said though the main focus of this project is me doing the colors so I'm going to go ahead and route out this shaded part So here it is, I've routed out all these parts, 
okay and so now i'm going to go ahead and route out this middle of the bee this head in these places i made a small mistake there let's just get these done and see where we are I think I'm going to leave well enough alone with this and what I'm going to do is use one of the end milling bits to make the to route out all these lines all the lines around the circle um, these lines in here probably the lines in here where the um, the wings are um, I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to be back I'm not going to show myself doing that because it's it's just really tricky I'm going to leave it like this and then I'll be back after I route out all the lines. Okay, this is where we are. Um, everything is routed out, all the lines. I just kind of skipped doing these places right here for the bottom of his legs. Um, I didn't route out around them. I just decided to paint those into place the same way I'm doing with his antenna here. Everything looks kind of rough, so I'm going to go over with sandpaper. Well, I'm going to use my power sander, but I'm also going to use this little soft detail sander. You can pull off these little sheets that come with it, and I'm going to like fold one and just kind of go in and try to clean it up, try to get into those little crevices like this. I think that'll clean it up some, but first I have to go over the top with the power sander. And I'll be back after I finish cleaning it all up. Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using these metallic acrylic paints. Um, I've ordered them off Amazon, and if you're interested, they are... I'll leave a link in the description below for where to find them. Alright, so I'm starting off with this black. I'm going to fill in all the lines everywhere with this black and when that dries I'm going to sand off the excess that's on top I just want to get into each individual line I like how this paint is protected with these little plastic inserts for the shipping process and I'm certainly not going to put this back into the bottle after I finish painting to my eyes even though it says black it looks a little like gunmetal like a, a silvery color I'll see if I think it's okay on here yeah that's not bad I'm going to do the rest of these lines, let it dry and sand it off, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's just start painting. I'm not entirely sure what everything, what colors everything should be, but, well, we'll just take it one step at a time and see how things go.
entirely happy with this paint and the choices I've made for each color paint, especially this one here. I'm going to go over it again with a little bit more green. I'm not sure how well or how badly it'll work. This is the best I have. This is the best I could do. I think it doesn't look as bad on screen, but in real life, I just really don't like the way the colors went on and it is what it is. I'm just let it be what it's going to be. But hey, you know, maybe it inspires you. Maybe you like it. Maybe it's something you might want to try. That's cool. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment below. Tell me what you would have done differently. Um, if you like these paints, the link is in the description. Um, I'm not in love with them. <laughs> but... Thanks for watching, okay? Come back again soon. We'll see you next time.